Hi guys, uh, very good morning to each one of you. Today we are back with a daily lead code challenge problem that's ransom note. <laughs> that's a lead code EZ three eighty three. So this is basically a string based question. So if you are new to programming, the ones even if the students of 11, 12 are doing this, then do that's a good one. This is basically a quick practice question if you want to see that comes in LC easy so many uh, companies do have them in TR1 and some in their OAs so it's a good practice to do strings arrays and all that string manipulation question okay so let's see what the question says the question says you have been given two strings ransom note and maxi return true if ransom note can be constructed by the letters of maxi and positives that means you have two strings one is ransom note other is maxi you need to check if using the letters of this maxi string you can form this ransom note that means by rearranging it over any way if you can form each letter in maxi can be used only once that means the count present here should be sufficient enough to fulfill the count here because you can use it only once let's see so one is ransom note one is magazine you have to form ransom note using the words of magazine and said each word can be used only once so if you can see that somewhere we need to keep in mind the count of the alphabets right count of the alphabets in both of them how if we somewhere have the count of the alphabets in maxi okay let's say this was something like a b c d a and ransom note was a a b so can we form this a b by this yeah we have one a first a done we have second a second a done we have b second a b also done that means yeah this could form if we had this e there then obviously we couldn't because e was missing so somewhere we need to keep in mind the count of that particular alphabet present we know we have 26 alphabets so we need to create an array with 26 spaces okay oh it's gonna be large enough for each element in maxi okay you actually have to do this to get your index so for each character in maxi increment its count and store it in this array so we got one a make this as one then b c d again one b c d again coming to a this becomes two so this is how we got the array after having the magazine counts. After having the magazine counts, now we need to do the opposite. We need to run a loop for all the alphabets present in ransom node. And decrement it from this array. So coming to A, decrement 1. Again, decrement. So this is 0. Now coming to B, decrement this 0. Are there any left? No. Did any of the time we had any element and we got 0? Let's say we had E here and here there was no E, that means it was 0. Once we came to E, once we came to E, so the counter said that this value cannot be decreased as A of character minus E. Sorry, character minus A, that's E minus A was equals to 0. So once we got this condition, just return false. Why? Because we didn't have this. What if there comes a condition, there were three A's. There could be a question in your mind that there were three A's. Then to what will happen? For the two A's, it would be reduced to zero. Third time, it will again match to zero. That means it's zero. So that's how we need to do. So what? Are the steps that are required create an array with 26 initially 0 second iterate 
for the elements of magazine and store the count that means you have to do plus again iterate to the ransom note elements and decrease count for that alphabet keeping in mind if at any place this is zero then return false otherwise if you have completed with everything the answer shall be returned true so this is what we need to follow for the whole process that's our algorithm i hope this is clear if there is any doubt to let me know in the comments if you have any doubts or any others then let me know let's look at the we take an array counter 26 we are running a loop specifically for magazine and storing its count later coming to the second part that uh, you have to go to ransom notes check if it's zero initial check with zero it's If it's zero, return false. Otherwise, decremented. And obviously, if it's not false, it will be true. So, looking over here, the count, the complexity goes with order of m plus n. That is, ah, uh, the length of both the arrays plus. This is quite an easy question. If there are any queries, do let me know in the comment box. Thank you. Keep following.